Cannibalistic Galaxies, Magnetic Monsters, and Invisible Predators. Although we don't know everything about this ever-expanding universe, there are some truly creepy yet fascinating things we have discovered. Welcome to Fact Nominal, and today we will take a look at some of the most mysterious things that have been found in the cosmos. Gravity Still Rules it's safe to say that if we had a list of all the nightmarishly fascinating things in the universe out there, black holes would definitely make the list. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity rules. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so strong that, yep, you guessed it, nothing, not even light can escape. So what could be even stranger than black holes? Well, try mini black holes. What makes them so fascinating is that they shouldn't really exist. By definition, black holes are created from the death of a star, and for years, astronomers and scientists have concluded that these black holes were thought to be formed by supermassive stars. For example, the smallest black hole known was at least five times the mass of the Sun. Many black holes are about the size of an atom, and if the theories about them prove to be true, it's not just their size that will make them hard to study. Astronomical black holes are so massive that their evaporation rate is negligible. In contrast, many black holes are hot, unimaginably hot. The core of our sun is at around 15 million degrees Kelvin. To get even close to the temperature of a mini black hole, you would need to add another 42 zeros. What this incredible temperature means is that many black holes of tiny mass evaporate into the far, far colder space around them almost infinitely fast. Their expected lifetime is around one octillionth of a nanosecond so that they pop out of existence again almost as soon as they are created. There is much debate on the formation of these mini black holes. While scientists continue to gather data on them, it's clear that we have only grazed the tip of the iceberg. The Not-So-Great Attractor There seems to be something that's very, very attractive, about 220 million light years away. So much so that it just so happens to be pulling everything, including our whole galaxy, towards itself. The entire universe is expanding, so it's natural for our galaxy to be moving. But this is not quite the direction it should be moving in. There exists somewhat of a gravitational anomaly that scientists and astronomers have named the Great Attractor. This is partly due to its stunning brightness and also its gravitational pull. The Great Attractor was first discovered when scientists were busy observing the Norma Cluster, a supercluster that is about 220 million light years away. This great attractor left them perplexed as it seemed to be tugging and pulling all of the galaxies in the region towards itself. Not only that, it was pulling at an extraordinary speed of 321,868 kilometers per hour. Many theories now exist that dark energy is to blame for this, because how else would you explain a structure so strong and forceful that it's able to attract whole galaxies towards itself at such a high speed? Others say that we may yet be missing out on certain key components of how gravity works on a larger scale. The mystery behind the Great Attractor is an enduring one and may not be fully understood for a few more years. Shine bright like a quasar Discovered about half a century ago, quasars can safely be called the brightest objects in the universe. They shine so brightly that they practically outglow the ancient galaxies that contain them. What began as a probe into space following the static interference on translator phone lines, believed to be coming from the Milky Way, led to the discovery of these fascinating objects which were named quasi-stellar radio sources. They later came to be known as quasars, and after years of study, it was finally concluded that these distant specks were not stars. Most of the quasars that have been found are still billions of light years away from us and have been found more densely in the galaxies that have supermassive black holes and areas of large-scale density of matter. Since space functions like a time machine and the light we see from quasars probably took billions of years to reach us, it's possible that they existed in the early years of the galaxies. Perhaps even the Milky Way had a quasar, but it is now silent. In 2017, the most distant quasar, J1342 plus 0928 was discovered about 13 billion light years away. Quasars emit an absurd amount of energy, which could be compared to the total light of the stars in our galaxy combined. They are the most luminous and energetic objects that have been detected in the universe, 
and studying them, although challenging, can potentially help reveal information about how galaxies have evolved over time. Magnetic Monsters Magnetars are a special kind of neutron star, which in turn are a special kind of dead star. From their name, you can probably deduce that they have something to do with magnetism, and you're correct. Magnetars are the most ridiculously magnetic things we have ever discovered. Looks like Magneto's met his match. To give you an idea, we can start with something familiar like the Earth's magnetic field. That's around one gauss, and it isn't much different for the Sun. A few to a few hundred gauss, depending on what area of the Sun you're measuring. An MRI is 10,000 gauss. Furthermore, the strongest man-made magnetic fields are a few hundred thousand gauss. Now to the main event. A neutron star carries an incredible trillion gauss magnetic field. Yes, trillion. As if that wasn't impressive enough, enter the magnetar, coming in with up to one quadrillion gauss. They are the undisputed universal strongest magnetic field champ. Scientists are yet not completely sure what actually makes these magnetars so powerfully magnetic, but one thing is for sure. If you get close to them, the magnetic fields are strong enough to affect your very molecular structure. In other words, you would most likely turn into a human Alka-Seltzer and just dissolve. The good news is, though, they don't last very long in their magnetic monster state. According to research, they settle down into a neutron star after about 10,000 years. Well, we wish these mysterious magnetars a relaxing retirement in their new role. Eridanus Supervoid There is a massive area of nothingness in the universe which has caused experts to scratch their heads. A team of cosmologists from the University of Hawaii first proposed it was a supervoid, spanning 1.8 billion light-years across and 3 billion light-years away from our galaxy. It is found in the constellation Eridanus from where it gets its name. There are many theories surrounding this void. Astrophysicist Lauren Mersini Hofton has said, the void could be a parallel universe that bumped into our own at some point in the past. Multiple quantum physicists accept this possibility, but it contradicts the laws of traditional physics. Others say it could be somewhat of a universe in mass black hole, which has consumed all of the matter in its vicinity. To be clear, this area is not completely empty but simply holds 20% less cosmic material like galaxies, stars, and dust. This is absolutely fascinating because voids have been thought to form due to quantum fluctuations in the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang. But this supervoid is far too large for this theory to hold true. It could quite possibly be the largest structure ever discovered in the known universe. Sadly, we know so little about it, and it remains a profound mystery waiting to be solved. The Galaxy Crasher The mysterious object that passed through our solar system in 2017 has been one of the most exciting astronomical events in recent times. Given the Hawaiian name Aumuamua, meaning a message from afar arriving first. It's quite possibly the most fascinating object, which was first spotted about 21 million miles away from our planet, and seemed to be heading away from the sun at a speed of 196,000 miles per hour. Astronomers have said that the object had to have been nearly half a mile long and about 548 feet wide. The peculiar object had a dark red color and what seemed to be a cigar-like shape to it. At first, it was designated a comet, but upon further study, it was found that it didn't have a comet tail. Some are of the opinion that it is more of an asteroid or a large space rock which was probably flung into space due to gravitational distortion. What really adds to the intrigue is that we are still unable to answer the fundamental questions about the origins of Oumuamua and why it showed such unusual properties and behaviors. Scientists have even blamed alien technology for this interstellar object because of the fact that it behaves like a comet. While other objects would have turned circles around the Sun, Oumuamua proved to be different. It is the first ever object to fly into our solar system and back out again. And although it's no longer visible to telescopes, even in space, scientists continue to analyze data to hopefully unlock more mysteries about this unique interstellar visitor. The Devil's Triangle One of the biggest mysteries on planet Earth happens to be the Bermuda Triangle. You know, the region lying to the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where ships get pulled to the bottom of the ocean and airplanes seem to vanish into thin air. 
Well, there is a portion in space above the Earth where we find a similar phenomenon. This region has wreaked havoc on spacecrafts and anything that has entered the area. The Devil's Triangle in space lies somewhere above the South Atlantic, stretching out between Zimbabwe and Chile at a point where the Van Allen radiation belt is in close proximity with the Earth. This area has also been nicknamed the South Atlantic Anomaly or SAA. It's here that the Earth's magnetic field is very weak, which allows for an influx of intense solar radiation. To put it simply, when spacecrafts pass through this region, astronauts have been known to experience cosmic flashes, and computer systems have stopped working or completely shut down. The same goes for the Hubble telescope, which passes through the SAA 10 times a day, spending a good 15% of its time there. Hubble is unable to collect astronomical data during these moments, which is not ideal but necessary. To make things even more bizarre, the region seems to be expanding, and it is a cause of concern as this could not only affect systems in space and on Earth, but also the increased radiation could possibly lead to a higher risk of cancer. Studying the different levels of radiation and the size of this portion of space will be crucial to understanding what the future of commercial space travel would be like as well. There's no doubt that it is just one of the strangest things in space, just like its earthly counterpart. So what do you think? Will the Great Attractor cause a cosmic collision of galaxies? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.